Okay, what is up, YouTube? This was supposed to be a mod showcase, but we are not going to do a mod showcase. We're just going to get right to it, and we are just going to tear these things apart and rip up some mud. Sounds like a plan? Yeah. So anyways, what we got is this is kind of supposed to be a little mod review, but we're not. I hate mod reviews. So we're not going to do like a mod showcase. Silverado, um, 1978. This thing is sweet. It's a short box. Dual, dual exhaust in the back. That's awesome. Got a gooseneck in there. Oh, let's climb out of it. And it looks just awesome. Let's see if the how the lights are. Light lights look awesome. I like those little smiley face things on the uh, top. I'm sure there's a name for them, but I don't know. I've I mean you've like you see them on trucks with like the smiley faces. I don't know. I don't know if they're supposed to mean anything, but anyways, look at this. Okay, also, I'm gonna go to. Uh, the buying option. I, it took me forever to find where these were when I like downloaded them and put them in the game. But you go over to mods, okay? And I was like looking around, looking around, looking through cars, looking through trucks, and boom, unknown modding. They must have made like their own little category, which is sick. And these like thumbnails here are awesome. Those look awesome in there. Great job, unknown modding. And all of these mods right here shown here are by un unknown modding and BNB B and B modding. So we got the Mega Runner, uh, six door. This thing is awesome. I love the license plate. The license plates they do. Um, actually, you know what? This uh, Chevy. It's on B and B and Unknown Mind website website, but it might be by like a different creator on there or something. Just because it doesn't have the license plate, it's a little different. But I think that's where I got it from. Pretty sure. Link will be in the description. I need to start talking. Let's get going. Uh. Ram 2500. This is supposed to be just a freaking amazing mud truck. Look at it here. It does look sick. We'll see if it can actually uh, do what it looks like it could do. And we got an F-150, which I just kind of threw in there uh, to mud with. But we're going to check them out. First, we're going to take the Chevy out. You know what? I've, I just realized it, this the other day. It's really hard to say yee yee. It's hard to like explain it. Like if you're just trying to have a normal conversation, and somebody's like, "Oh, what do you usually say in your videos?" For example, it, you just gotta be like, "Hee hee." It's kind of hard to just like talk and say it. I've really so in class, like somebody will be like, "Oh, what do you, what do you say in your videos?" And I'm like, "Hee hee," and then like everybody just looks around. It's it's freaking awkward, but anyways, it's weird. Where you gotta go find some mud? I think I'm gonna cut through this field quick. Oh, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. There we go. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm going to cut through this field, hit some mud holes. Oh, this thing gets deep in the mud. I wonder if, do all of them do that? Like, that's deep. But anyways... We gotta go find some other. Okay, here's a mud hole over here, and then we're gonna go through Mudder's Lane. It's like the. Oh gosh, get through here. Oh my gosh, that almost flips. If you guys don't know why I'm taking off the. What do you call it? A uh, hub? Is it called the HUD, HUD Hider? It's called the HUD. Um, it's just so I can get good thumbnail shots, kind of basically but we're gonna go through the lane it should have no freaking problem getting through here we should just fly right through here I'm assuming oh she's struggling a little bit I mean we're not getting like too deep but the tires we got a lot of tire spin going on but we're making it Chevy can always make it it's doing good it's doing good there we go I love the like lift kit under there that's awesome now through the deep stuff, and I really and one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to unknown mo and B and B modding and sit and ask if they can put uh make the like truck muddy and dirty. That would be awesome. That way you can go wash it off afterwards and stuff with the power washer they have on this map. That would be sick. I think it would be sick. Cause I like I like to keep my stuff clean. Whatever it is, usually I try to keep it clean. Okay, we're just going to park the Chevy over here for now. Park it in by these trees. Quote, quote, trees. 
Okay, we're gonna t we're gonna take the Cummins. This thing is awesome. Look at that! It, look at that design. That's that's quality work, guys. That's quality work. <laughs> Smokestacks are cool. That's awesome. No, that is really. Hopefully, you guys can hear the truck. I always have to mess with my audio levels once I go from spin tires to farm simulator and back and forth. And dep really, depending on what mic I'm using right now, I'm using the blue snowball mic. But oh, I don't want to go flying into that creek because you guys know. I'm because I am a horrible driver. Ugh. And also, um, com seriously, this is I'm I really want to. So I just got off out of school. I really want to do uh, dirt bike like vlogs and stuff, riding vlogs and stuff. That'd be awesome. I think that's really what I'm interested to into, and fishing and stuff like that, real life stuff. Um, so seriously, comment if you guys want me to do them. Every, like one little comment I see, I'm like, oh yes, 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 yes. Somebody wants me to actually do that, and I get so excited. Seriously. And also, with comments, I haven't been replying recently. It's bad. I just haven't had time, but I... So school's out. I got time now. Oh, there's no guy driving. But the Cummins does freaking amazing, too. I, I would say it does a little better than the Chevy. It seems to be doing better than Chevy. Okay, here's the, the real stuff, the deep mud. It gets through it pretty well. Not gonna mention. I love the little uh, smoke clouds. Or coal clouds. I guess you call them coal clouds since you're rolling coal. I don't know. That didn't probably not made it make any sense, but And also this summer I'm trying to where I'm talking to uh, Offspring to make a video a couple of vids together that would be awesome I think it'd be great for the community so we're gonna try to make a couple videos together probably hauling videos I'd assume but we'll let you guys know it could be a surprise and I'm gonna try to make like tons of videos this summer seriously okay so what it oh I never even saw this so this is a long bed I don't like the rims on it I'd rather have see stock rims but this is a it has the, what is it? It's not 8 feet, is it? Maybe 8 feet? I think 8 feet. Yeah, 8 foot bed. Or does the normal truck, and I think the normal truck has like 6.5. And, and then, uh, like, oh, this thing drifts nice. I wonder how it'll be in the mud, though. Oh, I like the drifting. It's quiet. It's a quiet little truck. It is F-150, though. It does like to drift. Oh, oh. Oh, we did a little fish hook there. Almost got it. You know what I think would also be awesome is selling <laughs> stickers. I, I think it would be awesome to sell them to you guys, uh, like squad <laughs> stickers to put on your car, bike, whatever you got. Tricycle. If you guys still ride tricycles. No, there are some young viewers. Stroller. Your baby stroller. F-150 is getting here through here fine. It's honestly getting here through be here better, almost even faster than the other trucks, I'd say. But if you were to put a trailer on it, it'd probably take a lot longer than the other trucks. Does not have near the torque. I, speaking of torque, I actually drove a uh, Tesla this weekend. Tesla, my uncle's Tesla, and it was really awesome. That thing does not have any torque at all. Obviously, it's battery operated, but it is crazy quick. 3.1 second zero to 60 it was crazy fast and you know what the funny thing is oh, I'm getting really off topic here but you'd pull up next to somebody even my uncle said this this happened with him I wasn't in the car it, it was when he was driving to pick me up but uh, some guy with a like really fast car Mustang for example V8 or something will stop at the stoplight they'll be stopped at the stoplight together he'll rev his engine try to race because everybody runs wants to race a Tesla and my uncle he's kind of a guy that's not really into cars as much but he even said uh I mean, he's into cars, but, uh, like, doesn't, like, work on a modem kind of thing, but he really loves cars. Um, and anyways, he'll he'll get it, like, once a week probably, and somebody will pull up, and somebody will pull up, have their engine and stuff, and they'll take off, and then he'll be like, oh, shoot, do I have to actually do this again? And then he'll let them take off, and then he'll just fly by him in the Tesla. It's crazy. That'd be honestly fun to have, a fun car to have. You'd smoke everybody in races, zero to sixty. I mean, the only person that really beats him is a freaking Bugatti. And who has a Bugatti in Iowa? Well, that's where I live, but Iowa. I mean, there are a couple. I, actually, I don't even know. I don't even know if somebody has a Bugatti in Iowa. Probably, maybe. Who knows? 
Ooh, 6x6. Six 6x6 by six. Six by six getting through here. This thing is sweet. This would be my dream car, right? Besides the Tesla. Oh, and also on Tesla, it was awesome. Autopilot. That was freaking crazy. There's never, never been a crash on autopilot. Uh, with Even with all the Teslas that are out there, never been a crash on autopilot. It's like you don't want to trust it because it'll go so close to cars and then finally break. Like if you're coming up on a car, it's kind of crazy. And you want to like steer and avoid it, but you just got to trust it. It's really, it's really strange, but really interesting because you can sit. Even my uncle does this. He sits on his phone and texts and goes through all his emails while autopilot's driving him on the interstate to work. It's, that's freaking crazy. And, oh, that's awesome. So that was my weekend. And we need, I need to talk about more mudding stuff because I just got totally off topic. But um, this Ram 6x6 does great and it looks freaking sweet. It'd be awesome if you had like, uh, how many people could you fit in there? Six people in there. You could probably fit more than six, but there's six seats. That'd be awesome if you had like a high number of seats. Anyways, vids over. More vids coming almost daily. Trying to get them out daily. Whoa, can the Ram not climb this? But anyways, no school. More vids coming, of course. Subscribe, tell your friends, everything like that. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.